What's up fellow gaming warriors, it's Chief Rocky here with another episode of Imperial Galactic Survival here on the Inflicted server. And today I wanted to go over the map, the map on the Inflicted server. Now, each map is different, whether you're playing single, co-op, or the server ones, right? Each map is different. You could either pick to do a seed or a custom. Uh, in Inflicted they are using a custom, they're using the Voodoo 2 uh, map. So obviously anybody could subscribe to that and use it. Uh, but what's different here is there's a lot more added stuff okay for instance right you have all the starter planets uh, starter plants would be here Akua Ninjis Omicron I believe Eris Loki and Volca right I th there might be more I'm not 100% sure but I know for for fact that those ones are starter planets. All right, so some of the unique things about here are there's extra added planets, okay? Like this one, Resendolf. This one is kind of recent, actually. And this is, the owner is Phoenix. Now, this is a donator planet, okay? So you could purchase these donator planets uh, you could purchase them with moons you could purchase them whitelisted you could purchase them open you could purchase them PvE PvP uh, you could have resources on them Th there's an abundant amount of things you could put into these okay and it's a one-time purchase as long as much as far as I understand it's a one-time purchase and that one-time purchase allows you to have your own planet whether you choose to have other people on there or not is, is really completely up to you so you have these extra planets like this one Resendorf is a is, is is a donator planet this is a donator planet uh, Terra 4 is a donator planet nope this is a regular one so there's, there's a couple of donator planets out there I know there's another one around here somewhere Where is it at? Right there. All right, Tetris. All right, all these are donator planets. I know there's another one. Right there. Gyalfri. All right, so again, all these are donated planets. They have uh, they have paid to have these added in. And there, some of them are open for you, and some of them are not. So as long as long as you can see this pathway going, you got it. All right. So everybody knows, you know what these AUs are. That's how much per tax that it costs for you to warp. Okay. So the wormhole. All right. So one thing that you need to know on this server is the center kind of controls what sectors you go to or not. All right. So if you're if you start off in this starter planet. In this area right you could go anywhere in here but if you need to leave this sector you have to go to Nike and Nike could t either take uh, now you could either go to Ana or you could go to uh, Mumbai but you can't go to the center the center only allows you to go to warp, warp wormhole to these areas here all right it's a direct like there and that's it all right either one of these will let you wormhole hole and uh, I believe wormholing is, is is free I don't see a price on that one all right so that's boom good to go all right the problem with the center is is it is 100% PvP all right so you want to get in and get out all right um, so the PVP planets are these triangles, all right? These are PVP areas. PVP, 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 PVP. I think Meldo. I don't think. Yeah. See, I don't. I think this one. Mm, I don't think we can go to that one. All right. So this one is PVP as well. This is PVE. So I think these these are donator planets, right? The ones with the 
kind of octagon or, or diamond shape, those are all donator planets. That's how you could tell a donator planet, right? PvP, you really kind of have to look at these donator. So Braxis, we're not going to be able to go to Braxis. We can try if we want. Actually, we're going to go ahead and try that because we're at Ninjis. So obviously, like, it doesn't really tell you. This tells you what type of planet it is, which is, like, obviously blue. It means it's like an Akua-style planet, right? Uh, watery, uh, Omicron desert type. Um, alien Masperon, Masperon type, right? Cold winter type, right? So that's everybody knows that. But the unique things obviously are these these donator planets, right? They could swing either way. It looks like if they go PvP, if they want to go PvP, it's usually added up in here, right? All this stuff over here to the side, all PVE. See, I haven't been there yet. I think that's why. PVE, 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 PVE. Okay? Even Nike's PVE. Skill on PVE. Okay? So the areas that you go to to get there are PVE. Everything in this little area right here is all PVP. So if someone added another planet, I don't know where they put it. Here, 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 somewhere. But all these are strictly PVP. Okay, so that's pretty much that in a nutshell. Let's go ahead and try to go to Braxen. I'm kind of curious about that one. All right, got it. I teleport right through the center of the planet. <laughs> Boom, oh no, our molecules are all messed up. Ooh, we went there, cool. So this is a donator planet. So. Ooh, and this is definitely not a snow planet, or is it? So let's uh, let's go check it out. Let me skip all this. And we'll just get. All right, gave me worse. So we are on Braxis, and this is one of the uh, donator planets. I don't want to get too close to the surface because I don't know where any of the POIs are, and I really don't want to get messed up. But as you can tell, coming in, it's kind of glitched out. The only way we really kind of unglitch it is kind of get low. And skim the surface. Alright, so someone, I guess it's like they want a fire and ice type world. Because it's pretty much what it is. It's, it's ice with fire. But anyhow, um, you can see like people got auto miners set up right here and most of these donator planets they have like un unlimited uh, unlimited resources so you usually see a lot of players on these uh, and you usually see them why are my lights on and you usually see them with a whole bunch of uh, Auto miners, except for this one. I don't know why. Someone decided to dig it out. I'm only with five percent. Assholes. <laughs> Anyhow, that is pretty much it. That's all you really need to know about the map here on Inflicted uh, currently. I know 8.0 is coming out here soon, and I don't really know what the map is going to look like then. I'd probably have to have a sit down with uh, Protocol Omega and figure out what that map is going to look like but in a nutshell that's how the map works and uh, that's how you get around this place uh, if you like what you saw if this was helpful hit that subscribe button hit that like button you're not only supporting me but you're supporting Imperion and you're supporting the inflicted server that's all I got Chief Rocky out <laughs>